hello everyone i literally i just woke up eyelashes crazy um didn't think i was gonna film today so i kind of got ready anyways so today oh my god it's like hot i don't know why i'm wearing this today <clears throat> we have a lot of things to do um i have to go to my mom's house and sorry my brush my lashes we're gonna go to my mom's house because the puppies have a photo shoot with the dog photographer i know i'm extra as fuck so we're gonna do that at my mom's house because they want to do it in the garage because it's gonna be like a little like makeshift studio so we're gonna go to my mom's house to do that because our garage is a hot mess right now and not wearing makeup today i don't think i ever wear makeup in the videos anymore i'm just like i'm over it i don't know but yeah so we're gonna go to my mom's house we we're gonna do the shoot and then i have to take the puppies i have to feed the puppies there's just a million things for us to do and we decided to indulge on mcdonald's last night which is probably not the best um decision because now we feel like shit but it's okay it's totally worth it but yeah it's always a good time now we're gonna take care of the kitties in my office and this is this is breakfast, the green drink, because I feel like shit, because I ate, here's Salem, because I ate McDonald's last night, so I feel all nasty, um, and now we're in my office, so let's go ahead and clean everything up. gonna fill this bottle with some water and then spray down all of the reptile tanks. And then here's Gumby's tank. He loves to hide in the corner over there. You probably can't even see him, but I literally just spray everything down. Pac-Man frogs like it pretty high humidity. He's camouflaging right there. You can see his eyeballs. <laughs> but they like pretty high humidity, so I'm gonna give him pretty long mist. But I do this every morning, usually twice a day for these guys. But he's getting so big. He's literally huge now. Next up, uh, I'm gonna skip Mr. Pickles tank because he has an arid environment and I already sprayed down the succulents yesterday. He likes to dig things up, so this one fell. It's a pretty hard tank to maintain just because he likes to burrow everywhere. Oh, here he is. He likes to bury himself. He knows today's feeding day, so he's probably looking for food, so we'll feed him later. But he does have real succulents. Like this one over here. This is the one he always knocks over, so I have to figure out how to mount that one a little bit better. But look at him, he's so cute. Chickman is out of the dirt for once. So he usually burrows in the dirt, but we're just gonna spray his tank. Sorry, bud. Um, just gonna give him some water too. But just gonna spray this down, refill his water dish. I'm gonna upgrade him to a bigger tank. Just when I got him, he was literally the size of like a quarter. You guys can see in my other videos how small he was. So we did this lovely setup for him it's pretty small but it worked during that time because he was literally tiny but he's gotten much bigger so we will definitely be upgrading his tank soon so maybe i'll take you guys on that adventure with me um drogon of course doing great i'm just gonna give him some i usually just spray the top of his head with water every morning and then we also soak him as well but you know bearded dragons they don't really drink too much water so that's his misting for the day, and we'll feed him later. And then Kilo is down here. I will mist her tank as well. She is in a, a really big tank now. However, it's bioactive and the plants literally keep dying. So if anyone has any like tips on how to keep, like the two frogs bioactive tanks are doing great. However, this tank is the one that I'm struggling with the most. So if anyone has any tips about bioactive ball python enclosures, please leave them down below because this tank is an absolute nightmare sometimes. I do have to change the substrate 
Um, literally the plant died, so I have to actually take it out. But I will definitely just, I'm just gonna spray down her tank for now and then. I'm gonna make probably another video on me redoing her tank. So yeah, that'll be really fun. It is now time to feed the dogs. Ignore this dirty boy, I'm gonna wash it. Anna is gonna get a dog head. Of course, Nefertiti's going for the wrong food, but it's okay. They're getting so big now, look at them. This isn't supposed to be a puppy update video, but they're literally huge. And Katana decided to take her duck head and eat it away from the camera. Okay, are you gonna eat it? Oh, and if you guys are wondering where Cleo is, Cleo's just at my mom's house right now because we're doing the shoot over there. So we're gonna take these two puppies over there as well. <laughs> so cute. She doesn't want me to record her. So I'm gonna record her over here because every single time I go over there, she stops. I think she's confused. She's had a duck head before, so I don't know what's so confusing about. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. It's time to feed Mr. Pickles. Okay, I'm gonna try to film this with one hand, but he's like the worst at like feeding. He always misses, do you see that? Like, okay, what are you doing here? Maybe if I just, okay, dude, there you are. Jesus. He misses like probably three or four times before he can get it right. But yeah, that's what I do for him once a week. What are you doing up there? How did you even get up there? These cats are like absolutely insane now. <laughs> but they're going home really soon. And I also play Michael Blue Blay for them every morning. So ignore the Michael Blue Blay. But now we're just gonna go on my computer. I'm gonna figure out some like online stuff. And then also I have to check all the social media accounts, make sure everything's going well, and then check on orders and stuff like that. So let's get to it. Let's let the puppies back in. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Photo shoot time almost. You guys are so dirty. <sighs> Damn, it's hot today. Okay, just loaded the puppies. Off to my mom's house. Hey puppies. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, let's go. That's my mom's. Look at her backyard. It's so cute. All the puppies are reunited. <laughs> but just waiting for the photographer right now. We're just gonna do it in the garage, like mentioned earlier. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited to see how these turn out. Photographer's here, so we're just gonna set up in the garage. See, when I tell you guys my my like mom's garage is like cleaner. That it's honestly cleaner than the average person's garage. Like look at this. There's like nothing on the floor. I think she like sprays it down too. <laughs> and then everything's like hung up. I can like walk barefoot in here and like the bottom of my foot would probably still be clean. Just finished the puppy shoot. They did so good. They're so freaking cute. Um, so the photos will be uploaded soon, hopefully. The photographer has to edit a couple things and yeah, we'll be good. And now I have to go drop off some orders <clears throat> that I packed all night last night um, at the post office for Hellhounds. And then I'm gonna make dinner tonight. And yeah, long day, not done yet. <laughs> I just realized that it's like 3.30 and I still haven't eaten anything yet. And I'm starving. I'm about to film me going to the market, but I literally just went to the market with my boyfriend and it's almost, I think it's like 6 p.m. now. I'm so tired already and it's only, <laughs> my day's not over yet. I need to cook do laundry, walk the dogs, feed the dogs. So I have to do all of that. But this was pretty much like a day in my life because 
for like a daytime. I'm not trying to do like a night in my life, but I'll save that video for next time. But thank you guys so much for joining me on my little mini vlog, I guess. It was kind of like an uneventful day, but I hope you guys found it entertaining anyways. But talk to you guys later. Bye.